Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So, um, Adrian Boshoff suggested I make a video about um, Alpha Blend and transparency. So let's do that, shall we? So let's first add some, hmm, yeah, let's just add some random component, components, such as a button. Let's, let's actually make a nice little, little GUI. A panel line it to top. I am your father. Let's make this thing summer blue. And where is the text settings or font? Make it red. Twenty-eight. Or maybe. 48 okay do we add another panel line to left copy and paste line to right let's remove the f uh, caption bottom okay this will work So let's say we want we have a we have plenty of panels here. In the middle we have also have a panel. Let's change the color of these panels to also let's make it sky blue. Let's make this one also sky blue. Okay. And now we want this middle panel to be transparent, right? So we want to see the back of the app basically. So go to Choose the panel. Oh no! Choose the form. Sorry. And then we um, we enable this transparent color color property. Make it true. And then we choose a transparent color value. Um, I use I usually usually choose this um CL fuchsia of however you say that um fuchsia maybe it's, it's fuchsia. So I, I, use, I, usually, I usually choose this color. Then let's make the panel color, this fusion color. Now let's compile. And I'll see that this panel is actually transparent, as you can see, which is really cool. So, yes. And you can even actually go here and enable this alpha blend. It goes from zero to um, one. So let's make it, for instance, uh, two hundred, which is a bit less than it is now. Actually, as you can see, it's a bit transparent now, not completely. Oh, sorry, wait. <coughs> sorry, I sneezed. And when you make it hundred, it will be even more less, or even more transparent. And you can even do this in runtime, such as it's add a track bar to this form, make it client, okay, and set the minimum value zero and the maximum value two five five. Let's make the current position two five five. Okay. Let's also add a label. Let's actually make this the label. Okay, panel one. Go to trackbar events and on change event. Let's choose this, and we'll just say um, label one dot. What's this label? It's oh, it's panel one. Sorry, I'm used to fire monkey. Panel one dot. Caption colon equals. Trackbar one dot. Position dot to string, and then we say form one dot alpha blend value colon equals track bar one dot position, and then let's compile. And now you can actually go and 
um, change this transparency in runtime as you can see so this changes the whole forms transparency and this was basically just the, the tutorial I had for you guys today about some transparency stuff um, yeah so thanks thanks for watching guys please make sure to like comment subscribe and share if this video helped you in any way and I'll see you in the next video bye